<laughs> Leah. <laughs> hi, Dee Dee. Hi, Lee. Hi, Jill. <laughs> hey, Stacy. Hi, Carol. Hi, Margaret. Hello, Susan. Hey, Mary. Mary, did it rain for you today? It's been a rainy day here. Hi, Barbara. Hey, Carmen. All right, so I just took Baby Joy and cut out the SVG images for the Kitchen Sink Stamps Multi-Step Lighthouse and the Multi-Step Sailboats. Now, um, this card is inspired by the card Terry posted. If you go on our page, our... Um, Facebook page. It's foiling and stamping fun. Terry did this beautiful scene with the lighthouse and the sailboats. And so I'm going to try to duplicate hers if I can. We'll see how I do. Okay, so all those pieces have been cut out. We had rain last night, but it's nice today in the UK, Lee says. Hi, Rose. Lee, isn't it always raining there? I was lucky enough when I was a child. My father was in the military, so we did travel to um, London, and I loved it because that was the era of was the late 80s, and there was all these punk rockers, and like they had like the high mohawk hair, and it was bright red and yellow, and I loved seeing these punk rockers. And I'd be like, Daddy, look at the punks! Daddy, look at the punks! And he was like, would you stop? <laughs> Hello, Deborah. Hi, Gloria. So if Terry comes on, everybody's got to give Terry a high five for this idea because this is all her um i pretty much did nothing today knowing this is my last day before i gotta go back to work tomorrow i know granted i'm working from home um hi roxanne hey karen um so today i just like an hour ago went and colored my hair i don't know why i felt like i needed to do it so i colored the grays out and then i um Gave myself a little mud mask. And then Leah, last summer, we put blonde and purple streaks in Leah's hair. So since I was coloring my hair and her hair, her hair is already naturally dark, I took a little bit of leftover color and colored the purple and the blonde out of her hair. So she's back to normal. We're all back to normal. Karen, I keep, like, painting mine. And now, like, look, this one just... This just happened today. I'm like, come on. Whatever. <laughs> hey, Bernie. Hi, Dion. Hi, Trace. Oops. All right. So for those of you just joining us, Terry put a beautiful card on our foiling and stamping um, fun Facebook page. And um, she used the kitchen sink stamps, multi-step lighthouse, and the multi-step sailboats. So I used Baby Joy, Cricut Joy, and I've cut out the pieces that I think I'm going to need for the stamp set. And I'm going to attempt to duplicate her card. So here we go. I have some salty ocean salty ocean distress ink and i'm just using a little makeup makeup brush here and gonna start off the page and i think the whole thing needs to be blue right because we have blue water we have blue sky i remember her her scene was very pretty lots of blue in it thank you stacy darling oh you guys Hey, Charlotte. Oh, I got happy mail today. I'm going to show you the happy mail then. Um, our friend Bonnie up in Buffalo, New York, sweet, sweet Bonnie, is in the hospital. So, Bonnie, if you are watching this, we are sending you hugs. Um, they thought Bonnie might have COVID, but she tested negative for COVID. But she's got a pretty bad infection. So, Bonnie, we are thinking about you, sweetheart. 
Hope you get well. She said she is watching from the hotel. She sent me a, a little text today, so. Uh, no, Barbara, when you purchase the stamps from Kitchen Sink Stamps, they send you the SVG file. It's completely free. So um, you just download it and then open that on your Cricut software and you can cut them before you stamp on them. All right, this is not blending as smoothly as I wanted, but that's okay. We're just going to live with it <laughs> for now. I think I need to go clean my brush out. I think my brush is too stiff. Let me see here. Yeah, that's good enough. All right, I'm going with this. Wow, Bernie. I know you and Stacy were working on that. You guys are the wonder team. Thank you so much for helping each other out. I appreciate that. Terry, there she is. Everybody high five Terry. Terry, I'm going to try to duplicate your card, honey. Um, before I forget, let me show some happy mails. Happy, happy mail. Happy mail time. I got... Um, Linda did a nail, what's the, what are those nail things called? Color, color street party. So Linda, um, I got a sample from her rep, which was pretty cool. I don't have it with me, but just want to tell you guys that. All right. So Miss Stephanie has been sending Leah cards for years. So Miss Stephanie watched our, um, photo challenge and showed me these cards she made. And I wanna show them to you guys. We'll take a break from this one second. Um, here she put, this is an old wedding photo, and she put glitter on the wedding gown and then um, die cut the word love. That is so sweet. And this one I really like. This one is, um, this is, she did this as a birthday card. So it's a whole bunch of friends, obviously, together for a prom. They put glitter all over the dress and then, or put glue and then glitter all over the dresses. So super cute from Miss Stephanie. So that was one happy mail. I like that one. Okay, and then I have another one here from, hold on, I want to make sure I don't mix these up. Okay, this is from Miss Charlotte. Charlotte showed off her beautiful coloring skills. So this one with these beautiful florals. Charlotte, you'll have to tell them what stamps you used, and these these markers or pencils feel like there's a little texture to them. So I don't know what she used, but there is a little bit of texture there. Um, this is a Blue Night Rubber Stamps one, Path to the Barn. Looks like she did colored pencils with this one. Very vibrant and bright. And then I think this is also Blue Night Rubber Stamps, but I don't think I have this one. But I believe this is also Blue Night Rubber Stamps. Charlotte, correct me if I'm wrong. So she colored these in. Nice and brightly colored. Love them. Okay. And then poor Bonnie, like I said, in the hospital. First of all, I have to show you guys. Bonnie put this envelope was sealed with a sponge on her, on her mail. Um, but she made this cute Easter card. She did some... Um, stenciling in the background there like mousse or something through the stencil lots of glitter and then she has this little like half a um like a what do you call that a doily die cut she stamped happy easter on there and then put these i think these are stickers or die cuts she put on there so very cute and then her little message inside and some more little bunnies inside but like i said miss bonnie is in the hospital so wishing you well bonnie All right, now, 
since we have Terry here now, Miss Terry, I am taking inspiration from your card that you did with the kitchen sink stamps, lighthouse, and sailboats. And I'm going to attempt to duplicate your card. Uh, this is my blue, way too blue card background. That's okay. Let me read you guys's. Yes, the cloud stencil, this is from Blue Night Rubber Stamps. And you can do clouds, you can do waves, you can do grassy hills, snow hills. Um, if you go to Blue Night Rubber Stamps and just search cloud stencil. All right, I'm going to put my backgrounds back in here and use them as my template. That makes it easier for me when I am stamping. Maybe, maybe I go this way. Hi, Anne Marie. Okay. So I think I want the ground. Okay. And, oops, I always forget I should put the stamps in first. Get my little spatula tool out too. Thank you, Stacy. Yeah, let me know if you guys see Bonnie. Like I said, she's in the hospital. She said she's been watching it on her phone. But she's got a pretty bad infection. All right, I'm going to start with the ground. So we have layer one all the way down at the bottom here. High luxury card store. Hi, sunshine. Okay, and then layer one of the lighthouse is this one. Last year, I was very lucky. Not last year. Gosh, it's been three years already. Yeah, 2017. Um, I was very lucky to go visit my brother who was stationed in Bath, Maine at the Naval Academy there. And, um, oh, these two birds are separate, but they're together on here. Is this the same bird? It is the same bird. Okay. Um, but it was a very beautiful little trip for me and the kids. And it was over Easter and I, it was just very breathtaking. Very, very beautiful. Bernie's trying to help us out because apparently the SVG files are not were, um, opening to the correct size on her scan and cut. And I imagine most people didn't catch that because they stamp and then they do the scan and cut. But if you don't, if you want to do it this way, the way I'm doing it, you need to cut it first and then stamp it. So we need to make sure it's the right size. So um, Bernie and... Stacy have been working on trying to get that corrected. So thank you, ladies. All right. I'm going to pull my minis out. Guess we'll do sand dunes for the doing this opposite direction for me because I have the sticky grid in that corner. So we'll do that for the ground. We'll do some light rays for the lighthouse. And so morning frost I'm going to do on our large seagull and limestone I'm going to do on our lighthouse and there's a it's the lighthouse part and then what's the little part next to it that's not like the lighthouse keeper's house right it's just like I don't know what it is this is a little blotchy 
It's a little blotchy, but that's okay because the ground is supposed to be sandy anyway. Dan, I don't know. I'm not familiar with Cricut Design Space. If anybody can answer that for Jan, she wants to know. I made an out. I basically did a trace with my silhouette. Um, I don't know if you can do that with the Cricut or not. So if somebody can help Jan with the Cricut. Okay, so now we're going to go in with layer two for everything. Okay, so layer two in the lighthouse. I was hoping it would be nice today because I did want to sneak out to Home Depot and get some mulch and some dirt and kind of get the yard done. I didn't want to go over the weekend because I knew it was going to be too busy and I didn't want to get exposed to all of that. But looks like I won't be getting that chance now. Okay, layer two with our bird. I'm trying not to stick my head in the way. Layer two with the lighthouse looks good. And then layer two with the dirt, the dirt mound. Okay, so layer two for the dirt, we're gonna do rocky shore. Now, when I open these SVG images on my silhouette, they come out the right size. And I opened it on Baby Joy. They came out the right size. Silverstone for our lighthouse. And then Evening Gray for our seagull, layer two. Okay, Stacy says they opened the correct size on Dick, on Cricut Design Space. Hello, Molly. That's right, Lee. You can make your own cloud stencil like Stacy says. Just cut it out of Yupo paper. Okay, that's layer two. Jan, the SVG files you should be able to cut with the Cricut. Yes, honey. For, for these, for kitchen sink stamps. They're free with the stamps. So it's like getting free dyes with your stamps. As long as you have an electronic cutter. Okay. Layer three for our rocky dirt mound here. Okay, layer three for our lighthouse. a bird nest outside the window and I can hear little birds out there chirping. Okay, and then layer three for our birds. Uh, okay, I think this is correct. This is kind of tough to line up. This I can't see if I can't stick my head in the way. I don't know if I can see that. Sorry guys, got to stick my head in here. Who that? Uh, Leah's teacher is texting. I do believe my daughter took her laptop up to her bedroom. I'll sh I'll post the picture for you guys. And she was up there like chilling and like like she set up her own little office in her room. And it cracked me up when I went in there and saw that today. Xavier's on Easter break. Xavier had off Thursday, Friday, and today Leah only had off Friday for her Easter break. I keep touching these and moving them out of alignment. Quit touching them, Nance. I want them to 
the stamp perfect for you guys. Oh my gosh. Quit fussing. Can't win. Can't win. Leave it alone. Nope, oh, it's not lined up. Oh boy. Okay, I'm leaving it. If it's not lined up, it's not lined up. Okay, layer three for the dirt. Mocha. Charlotte made her own stamp positioner. Did you do the DVD um, method, Charlotte, where you like put a little magnet at the bottom of the DVD case? You take some of that, um, what do you call that? Um, industrial diamond. Um, those magnetic um, vent covers, you cut that to the so to the bottom of your DVD case, and then you have your own stamp positioner. Okay, and then for the bird, moon rock. Okay, I hope this is lined up correctly. I said I kept bumping it. Okay, that's looking pretty good. All right, that's all there is for the bird. He's only three layers. All right, and then the lighthouse has got a couple extra layers here. There's one more for the lighthouse. Yeah, four layers for the lighthouse, it looks like. This is the final layer for the lighthouse. And then for the ground, the rocky shore, there is one more layer. That doesn't look right to me. Okay. Ooh, that's almost perfect right there. Nope, it's not. Okay, so for the Rocky Shores, we're going in with Espresso. Stacy, send me some of that heat, girl. I'm going to go visit Stacy, you guys, because I cannot stand cold weather. My daughter was asking me that the other day. She was like, Mom, if you could eliminate any season, what would it be? I was like, winter. And she's like, but that's when my birthday is. <laughs> I said, when you are mommy's age, you don't care about winter anymore. I said, when you're a kid, it's fun. When you're 40, you don't care. <laughs> Ooh, that looks good. I feel like my bird is missing a layer, though. Like, he just doesn't... My bird doesn't look so good, you guys. <laughs> Ooh, that's I'm very impressed with this little stamp set. Nope, that's all there is. Okay. All right, that's part one of our little adventure here. Judy, all of the um, kitchen sink stamps come with a free SVG when you purchase the stamps. And if you got the stamps and forgot the SVG, you can go back and I think get it for 99 cents. But that's all of the kitchen sink stamps come with a free SVG. Doesn't that look so real? So worth it. Love these stamps. And then here's my seagull. He, he, I don't know. He just doesn't impress me very much. I mean, I guess he looks okay. 
Push them over there. Okay, now let's work on some sailboats, shall we? Uh, the sticky grid I will link for you guys. I got it either scrapbook.com, one of the stamp shows, something like that. I'll link it for you guys. It's only a couple bucks. In fact, I need to buy some more, and I need to buy some more paper. Okay, um, let me put my sailboats back in here. Is this how it cut? This is how it cut. Okay, so that sticky grid is behind there, and it holds it steady for me, makes it easier for me to stamp. Yep. Yeah, I'll link everything for you guys. Okay, so layer number one on the big sailboat. Okay, and I guess we'll just do the two sailboats. I don't really need anything else on there. Oh, there's three sailboats. Well, we're already here. Might as well keep going. They look like they're all three layers, so that shouldn't be too hard. All right. Close the door. Pick up the stamps. That needs to stay in there. Okay. Put the die cuts in here. Number one. Ah, Stacy, you're so sweet. Thanks. Okay, so what color are we supposed to do the sailboats? Whatever we want, right? Look, there's instructions. Blue, she used the same blue and stamped it off, but I gotta be different. I'm gonna go Arctic on the big one. I'm gonna do one gray, one blue, and one in between. So this is Arctic, which is a really light blue. And what if we do, is there such thing as a red sailboat? I guess there is now in my world. right in there too. I always use um, Nina Solar, Nina is an 80 pound classic crest solar white. When I put it in the Cricut Joy, I tell the Cricut Joy that it is um, glitter card stock, so it cuts all the way through. Oh, Stacy, you know I did. Those people is crazy. They are crazy, crazy peoples. Hey, Stephanie. Oh, I'm glad, Melissa. Okay, that's like super light. What happened to my gray? It didn't even show up. Let's try that again. There we go. Okay. One gray, one blue, one red. Let's see if this works. Jill, you can mention any place. Two, 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 two. Okay. 
<laughs> Bernie, right? Aren't they a little crazy? Two, two, two. Okay, layer two. I think I got it lined up. Okay, now we are back with red. I think my red might be a little too dark. It might take over this whole card, but it's still pretty. <laughs> You're fine, Jill. We are all here to learn and support each other. It's fine. It's fine, fine, fine. Oh, I did want to mention, someone sent me um, a, a comment about the, um, what do you call it? Blah, 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 blah. Oh, the brother laser printer, okay? It did go up in price from 79 back up to 89 now. I just picked the least expensive black and white laser printer. I honestly did not pay any attention to if it was Wi-Fi or not. I didn't know if that mattered to you guys. I just found the least expensive one. My laser printer is a few years old, so unfortunately, it's no longer available. I don't know why they got rid of it. I think they just kind of improved it. I don't know. But there is one out there that's not Wi-Fi, which seems to be the exact same as mine. And then there is one out there that is Wi-Fi. So I was just putting the cheapest one up there. I will keep my eyes open if I have to get another, um, if I have to f try to find you guys a cheaper, um, or an alternative to the laser printer. Um, so I didn't realize that Wi-Fi was something that you guys did or didn't want or, you know, but somebody did ask me, so I just did want to clarify that. I honestly don't know if mine's Wi-Fi or not. I've never, I just stick the cable in the back of the computer. It might be Wi-Fi. I have no idea. <laughs> just never, it just never occurred to me to even think about that. I don't think mine has Wi-Fi because I remember I only paid like $69 for mine. But again, I bought mine when it was like back to school time. So they were having all their, you know, back to school sale. I imagine with everybody working from home right now, just like you can't get Clorox wipes anywhere. I'm going to guess people like bought a lot of office supplies for at home. So I'm guessing that's why the price jumped up on that printer. Because it's a cheap black and white laser printer. So if you're printing documents and stuff. That's my guess. I would also like to give a shout out to Stacy and Tracy. For helping me out with being moderators and admins. So I can't always, like, I could, I can't, I try to look up and read your comments, but honestly, I can't see half of the time because I'm blind. But um, um, these guys do a really good job at helping me out and keeping the trolls out. So thank you, ladies. Don't forget, Tracy's got a, a Facebook page. Get on over there. She's part of quite a few design teams. Ooh, that's super dark. I don't know that I want it that dark. Well, too late now. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to st stamp it off. Yeah, I'll keep an eye out for you guys. Just like I keep an eye out for... Ooh, that's not even lined up correctly. So let me fix that. Um, the mink, when the mink goes on sale, I post it right away for you guys. Well, Nancy just opened a Lowe's account. Looks like two doors are going to be going in as well as possibly we're discussing it. 
redoing my kitchen because we redid. Now, my house is almost 20 years old. I guess it was built in 2002. So it's almost 20 years old. Before I bought it, um, the person who had it before me was also a single woman. So she did the hot water heater and the um, heating system a few years before, our, before she sold the house. And... Um, Two years after I bought the house, we had an awful hailstorm go in, so I got a new roof and new siding out of it. So everything's been pretty good, but now that the house is approaching almost 20 years, my deck is starting to rot. Some of the wood's starting to rot, plus I have carpenter bees in my deck, so he's going to come out and replace the wood in the deck. The two outside patio doors are starting to rot around the frame, so I need two doors. Um... So I said to him, you know, you might as well take a look at the hot water heater. So that looks like that's going to need to be replaced. It's not leaking or anything yet, but that's one of those preventative things. You don't want to wait till it leaks. So we're going to do that. And three years ago, he did all new pergo floors in my, well, I helped. <laughs> we did new floors in my living room and dining room. We ripped up all the carpet. The steps, that was the hardest thing I've ever had to do in my life was we had to um, rip up all the carpets. There was 8 billion staples in the carpets. But we refinished the steps. Um, and then I painted all of upstairs. I painted all of the living room, dining room. And the only rooms I didn't do was there's a small bathroom slash laundry room on the outside of the kitchen and the kitchen. So now if you look at the rest of my house, it looks like all modern. Everything looks nice and neat. And now I look at the kitchen like I, I despise my kitchen now because it's it's kind of old and crusty looking. So while he was over the other day measuring the doors, he's like, you know, we should just really do your, do your kitchen. Let's do it now while we're both home because if I can help him instead of him bringing one of his, his employees in, it'll save me some money in terms of labor. So I opened a Lowe's account. So looks like Nancy's gonna be redoing the kitchen. We did not, Tracy, because, so he measured the doors and he said, I have some kind of odd shaped doors. So he's like, now when I looked at, um, back to the car here real quick. Um, Terry, help me out here. Your card, you kind of did the the um, lighthouse up here, and then you did, like, the sailboats, like, around the side and the bottom, right? I want to make sure I'm doing this correctly. Like this. Yeah, I'm going to have to do something with my horizon here because that's going to drive me nuts. <laughs> do it this way. That's a good idea, actually. Melissa, I like your idea. Did you see what Melissa said? We turned it the upside down, so now it looks like waves. Oh, Terry had trees in hers. I like Melissa's idea. So this one be closer and this one further away. And this one like way far away. Okay, we're only going to use these two guys because this looks... That's right. Terry had trees in hers. All right, Terry, I'm not going to stamp out trees. I think we'll go like this. I like Melissa's idea, though. So we're just going to glue everything into place here. Hello, Sparkle Miss. <laughs> Where did you do trees? Back here? 
All right, hold on. Too late. It's glued down, but I think I can still do trees. Okay, hold on. She wants trees. Uh, let me find my treats. I didn't think about trees. Here we go. Oh, don't worry, Lee. We will put some sparkle on there. In fact, I just filmed a, a video for Blue Night Rubber Stamps and I used my sparkle pens. So do these trees in the background and then put this on here. Okay. Those trees are too big. I have smaller trees. A smaller tree. Doo, doo, doo. This guy's a little smaller. They're going to be in the background of the lighthouse. We'll do the smaller tree. We'll see how it looks. making the old truck orange it's going to be it's going to make my dad laugh he had an old orange truck with a door that swung open when he turned corners lighthouse needs to look big and safe well if i stamp these kind of in the background it'll look like the trees are far away i don't have any smaller trees do i Okay, that's a good idea, Sparkle Miss. We'll pop it up in front of the trees. Good idea. So I'll just do like a couple of trees and it'll make it look like they're a little further away and then pop the lighthouse up there. Okay. Well, my Altenew inks are not as tight anymore. <laughs> This stamp has one, two, three, four layers. Okay. Let's see how this works out. What the heck, Nance? Uber. Oh, I just totally didn't even... Eh. Lighthouse is going in front of that anyway. Nobody's going to know. <laughs> there we go. That's a little better. Oh, Chow got the metallic watercolors. You guys watched that video this morning? They are fun. Okay, one, two. Ugh. See, some of mine, the lids are on good, and some of them, they pop off. I can't see through this one. Oh, I can see now that I didn't line it up correctly. Oh, well.
Jill. Still better than riding the school bus, though, right? So my girlfriend, her parents bought her some, like, 1974... Uh, fair lane or something like that i forget what it was called and it had a hole in the floor so her dad put a piece of plywood in there and was like tell your friends don't stick their leg through the hole and it didn't have heat but we didn't care because it was better than riding the bus Oh, did you guys see, I don't know how, how, um, you guys are on, how much you guys are on social media, but they, you know, somebody started in support of 2020 seniors post your senior picture. So of course I did it. And then one of my friends commented on another page, you know, you know, that's really not supporting 2020 seniors. It's kind of insulting to them because they are not going to get to graduate. <laughs> And I put, you know, if they're going to complain because we're posting my 25-year-old graduation picture when I was young, when they have technology now, when they hopefully have their health right now, and they're going to whine because they don't get to graduate, they got bigger things to worry about. <laughs> mean to stamp all that green and I was trying to remember to block it out and I did it. That's all right. All right. My trees are not as pretty, but that's okay. That is, that does, that is a little sad that they don't get to go to prom. I do agree with that because they're, they're, you know, there are certain things you can only do once in your life. And if you didn't go your junior year and you don't get to go your senior year, hopefully these kids will get some kind of a makeup. I don't know. Okay, we'll pop that up. Let me fix my little brown mess here. Not that it really matters. Just taking some brown and shading over my green a little bit so it's not so prominent. <laughs> there. It's a mossy shore, okay? <laughs> okay, yes, I'm going to pop that up. You guys are geniuses. so much the boys care either as much as the girls. Yeah, Bernie, it was it was the passenger side of my friend's car too. Yeah, I have no idea why it's the passenger side. Did you see all the videos, though, of the dads that are making the daughters get dressed up and then they do a little a little prom dance with them in the living room? That's so sweet. Oh, that looks cool.
Okay, I think we are done with our little scene. I had a headache this morning too. I got up and I went right back to bed. Then got up, still there. Took some Excedrin and it went away finally. All right, let me just put this on a card base. Thank you, Terry, for the idea. Again, Terry's is on the Facebook page. Hers was way more colorful and thought out than mine. I just kind of rushed through this. But thank you guys for all of your input and your ideas. And again, all the stamps that we used are from Kitchen Sink Stamps, Multi-Step Lighthouse, Multi-step pine trees and multi-step sailboats. And if you go to yesterday's video, I linked the Kitchen Sink Stamps website as well as the website where you can pick up a small discount. And I'm going to send this to Dear Bonnie. Bonnie's not feeling well in the hospital. We want Bonnie to get better. Um, Lee said to add sparkle. So yes, Lee, we're gonna add some sparkle down here in the water. And let's see, what kind of a sentiment can we get on here? Good job, Jennifer. Oh, great, Molly. Yeah, it's been windy in Pennsylvania, too. Oh, Jill, they do appreciate you, I know. High five, Jill. Yes, honey, you are on the front lines. That's right. Um, I could do thinking of you. Think thinking of you. Out of that same stamp set. I'm very proud of you, Jennifer. I was an idiot and went for my first two years and then got into the car business and was like, oh, I'm making more money than my friends. I don't need to go back to school. And I never went back and finished my four year and now I totally regret it. And now being 43, there really is no point in me going back to school. But, you know, I was top honors and everything, and I really regret that. So for you to be able to do that, you go, girl. Super high five. Lot, lots of props to you for that. How about I do like this? Thinking of you like that. Yeah. 
I think I'll do that. And, and Jill, thank you, sweetheart, for having that profession and going through what you go through every day. You know, people are stressed out. They're taking it out on you guys because you guys are the front lines. But believe me, we appreciate all of you going out there and sacrificing. And for everybody else, stay home if you can stay home. So people like Jill can get through this faster. We can get through this and she can get back to her normal life. Molly said it was windy in Georgia too. It's just windy everywhere. Richard, I would love to do that. I always wanted to be a teacher. I always wanted to be a teacher. I regret not doing that and pursuing that because my mom talked me out of it. She wanted me to be a doctor. Well, here, I didn't end up being a doctor or a teacher. I ended up in the car business. And, you know, I, I always wanted to be a teacher, and I wish I had pursued that. So good for you guys. That's right, Sunshine. I love all you guys. It's not just for you guys. It's for me, too. You know, this is scary for me. You know, I don't know if I'm going to lose my job next week. I don't know what every time I go out to the grocery store if I'm getting exposed and exposing my children. It's really scary. And I try to put on this cool front so the kids don't know what's going on. But I love coming down here and being able to craft with you guys and make cards with you guys. And that one hour, you know, is not only a distraction for you guys, it's a distraction for me. And going on that Facebook page and seeing you guys' beautiful cards that you're making, no judgment, no factor into anything that you use other than you put your little heart and soul into it. And that's what we want. Dr. Early, you go, girl. I am in the car business, but I'm a different part now. I'm, I just left the dealership world in October, and my new job now, I'm basically a trainer for Ford, um, and I, I, I don't regret it. Now, I did take a huge pay cut, <laughs> but when I think about the time that I'm getting to spend with Leah and the freedom that I have now, um, I don't regret it. I don't regret it. Of course, I miss the money, but... It's only money, and I would rather have the time to snuggle with my kids, make the memories with my kids, you know, even just to be able to have weekends off and go fishing with them. I never had weekends off, guys. For almost 20 years, I never had weekends off. So to be able to spend, and if I was in a dealership right now, I would have been laid off already. So this new company is much better, and yeah. High five, mom. Yes. Stay inside and stay calm. All right, I'm going to glue this down. Oh, Jill, that's got to be hard. It is hard for the little ones because they have no idea what's going on. Like, Leah misses going to school. My son, he's a teenager. He's perfectly happy staying in his room and playing video games. He could care less. You know, he doesn't have a girlfriend. He doesn't, he doesn't care about anything except as long as he gets to eat. I'm going to cut off this little nubby here on the end of the card. But Leah misses going to dance. Leah's very social. She takes after her father. She misses her friends, you know. There's only so much of hanging out with mom she can do. Oh my gosh, Chow. Yeah, that's crazy. Yes, sunshine. And everybody else that's hiding in the background, do not be afraid. We don't judge here. We don't care if you are making cards for 
two hours, two weeks, two months, 20 years, or scrapbooking or any other crafting that you do. I think that everybody brings a value to our community. That's why we made the new Facebook group. So you guys can learn from people of different levels. Um, you know, I've been a scrapbooker for a very long time. I only got into card making eight years ago. And I got to say, being with you guys and being able to talk to you guys through making the videos and like Terry said, I'm teaching now, brings me so much joy. And when you guys email me and you send me questions and messages, don't ever feel like you're intruding. I always read them. I always answer them the best of my ability. And if I forget, email me again and say, hey, Nance, you never answered my question because I have a really bad memory. <laughs> um but yeah, I saw this card. Terry made it and I loved it so much. I said, oh, I want to duplicate it. And I'm going to send this to Miss Bonnie because we want Bonnie to feel better. She's in the hospital up in Buffalo, New York, fighting an infection. And yeah, being part of the crafting community, if that's what makes you happy, go for it. Aw, you guys are too kind. I'm reading your comments. Can you guys see all the detail in this? It really does look 3D. So yeah, when you guys were talking about, well, how much are their stamps? How much are their stamps? Their stamps are totally worth it because the small stamp sets like this little one, they're like $8, $9. The bigger ones can get up to 20 some dollars. However, look at the detail in that stamp. Once again, quality photopolymer stamps made here in the U.S. So these are not silicone stamps. They're layered to look 3D and you get free SVG. If you have an electronic die cutting system like the Silhouette machine, the Cricut machine, um, the Scan and Cut machine, you don't have to buy dies. It comes free with the cutout. How much is that worth? You've paid for the machine. You might as well use it. There's no dies laying around the house. It's beautiful. So, and it's a home-based business. So she is shipping stamps. If you order stamps, Bernie, how long did it take you to get your stamps, Bernie? Bernie placed her order, and I think she got her stamps in like three days. Bye, Jill. We love you. Stay safe, hon. Oh, Sparkle Miss, that's beautiful. Yeah, we're sending prayers to Bonnie. Two days, Bernie got her stamps. So, yeah. And you start your collection one at a time. I'm not saying everybody needs to go out there and buy a whole bunch of stamps. You have stamps in your collection already, a lot of you, that you can put something like this together. Maybe you have a Stampin' Up! Lighthouse set. Maybe you have trees from, um, I don't know, Another company, uh, Blue Knight Rubber Stamps. You have other stamp companies that you can mix and match. Don't ever feel like you have to go buy something or you have to use one company. I have several stamps that I could have easily put this together with another stamp company and been very similar. So keep that in mind, guys. You just go through your stash and see what you have and mix and match. Oh, it's never too long, sunshine. I love reading you guys' emails. Okay, guys. This is for tonight. Um, I'm hoping to be on tomorrow, but again, it's my first day back to work. I don't know what they have in store for us. Um, sometimes they give us projects to do, which sometimes take work after work hours. So I will try to come on tomorrow night, but I can't promise that. I do have the video going up for this week on um, Arteza sent me these gel pens. So I think I have that video coming up tomorrow. It's either tomorrow or the next day. And then I do use them in Baby Joy. I use these guys in Cricut Baby Joy. And then... Um, The 15th starts a new Mod Squad challenge. So you guys will have that video coming up as well. So if I don't get to see you live, I do have a couple videos that have been recorded that will be posted for you that I think you guys can take some good information from. Um, 
But yeah, if you have any ideas or any questions about anything that I can try to help you with, if I can't find the answer, I will find someone who can help you or we'll figure it out together. All right, guys, if you like this video, I do appreciate your thumbs up. I will link the link for kitchen sink stamps for you. Um, I will also link for you where you can get a small discount code. And anything you need, don't hesitate to ask. Don't forget to join our Facebook page, Foiling and Stamping Fun. If you're not subscribed to Tracy's YouTube channel, it's Tracy Schultz on YouTube. I will link that for you guys as well. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Please subscribe. Click the little bubble that's going to come up in the bottom right-hand corner and the bell to get notifications. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up on your way out. Bye, guys. Love you all. Sending hugs. Stay safe. Stay home.